Hey, Shalom. Kohaloyim, Wahawad, La, Yahweh, Bahasam, Yahweh Sai, Bahasam, Rakakwadas. Double honor is always extended to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the bishops and elders who rule and teach the church well because that's what they do. Salutations to you, Akim, out there laboring on the four corners of the earth, preaching, teaching, and prophesying the right way, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right, to all those among Israel who have believed our report, the men, women, and children believers, they too are marked for deliverance out of this coming destruction. And that's what's coming, all right, to you Israelites, all right, if you don't repent, man, if you don't turn back to the Lord. All right, and that's what uh, and you Israelites, you know, the Israelites on the earth today, all right, are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, okay, including you Israelite foreigners and speckled birds, all right? If you got to repent, man. Okay, the doors of, of mercy, all right, as of, uh, uh, you know, Thursday, June 8th, okay, 2023, the hopeful year that always prophecies come to pass, all right, the door, doors of mercy are about to slam shut on you, okay, and unless you repent, okay, and turn, you know, to the Lord, okay, and believe the gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, you're going to be destroyed, man. You're going to be destroyed, and destruction is coming. I mean, look at look at the signs, man. The signs is all around it. All around you. The signs are all around us, man. And we, as the hopeful elect, are right, starting, of course, with the uh, pillars of the church, right? The apostles of Great Millstone on down. You know, we, okay, can discern the signs of the times, okay? We know what time and season we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in the time of the end, man. We, we at the end of this age, okay? That's obvious, man. That's plain. So, lucky, like, that's plain, man. Okay? Like it says in, in the Apocrypha, his ways are plain unto the holy. Okay? So, yeah, the, the, the signs is all around us, man. You have that all that, that haze and smoke over New York City. Okay? Which is, which, which is you know, bas basically, uh, you know, a picture of what's to come, man. Because this place, and it's spiritual, it happened over New York City the way it did. You know, because New York City is the hub, man. You know? It's the, you know, that's the, that's the chief place of this, of this kingdom, you know, Babylon, the great New York city. That's the, that's straight up the belly of the beast, man. So the fact that that smoke, all right, is lingering in the air. Okay. And, it, and it's looking real apocalyptic there. That's, that's, that's spiritual. And so the Lord is getting ready to come back, man. And he requires repentance. Now in this lesson, I'm going to prove through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua that repentance is only for the Israelites, man. It's only, you get only Israelites, all right, can repent of their sins, okay? Because the nations didn't receive the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, all right? Only the children of Israel, Yasharala, all right, received the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? I remember uh, Moses being on Mount Sinai, getting them tables, okay? And he delivered them tables to who? The children of Israel, man. All right, Yasharala, Yasharala, as Hebrew for it, he is a prince with power. Okay, Yah meaning he, Shar meaning prince, Allah meaning power. Okay, so so the only way you can repent of your sin, like okay, if for transgressing the law, statutes, and commandments, because that's what sin is. Sin is tr the transgression of the law. The only way you can do that is if you're an Israelite. The nations didn't get these laws, statutes, and commandments. All right, the Lord's not. <laughs> Let's get an all star scripture to prove that. Okay? Let's get an all star scripture to prove. That these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible is only for uh, is only for Israel. Okay, you know where I'm going. <laughs> You've been listening, and learning for any amount of time. You know exactly where I'm going. All right, Psalms, the 147th chapter. All right, and uh, uh, verse 19, he sheweth his word unto Jacob. Right, he shows his word unto Jacob, man. He didn't show this word to uh, Ishmael, all right, the so-called Arabs. He didn't show this word to Cush, okay, the, the so-called Ethiopians. He didn't show this word. He certainly didn't show this word to Esau, the so-called white man. I only he only showed it unto Jacob, man. Jacob being being the father of the uh, of the twelve tribes. Okay, it says his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. All right, so these statutes and judgments are only shown to Israel, man. Okay, verse twenty. He hath not dealt so with any nation. So the Lord ain't dealing with the nations. The Lord ain't offering repentance of sin to the nations. That's only offered to the 
to the elect on this side. Only the elect are going to repent, man. Beginning with the 144,000. Okay? And repentance isn't a one-time thing, right? We, we should be re daily repenting of our sin, man. Daily turning to the Lord. Daily feel, feeling contrite. Okay? For what we've done, man. For breaking his law, statute, and commandments. All right, verse 20. have not dealt so of any nation and asked for his judgments. They have not known them. Praise you the Lord. See, the nations are going to have to learn the law, statute, and commandments. When the kingdom of heaven is established during that first thousand years, man, that, that the first dominion, okay? The men of the Lord are going to be given dominion, all right, and, and are going to be uh, uh, executing judgment throughout this earth, okay? Starting at the top with Yahusha, king of kings and lord of lords, then King David, Malak Dawadah, then the rest of the, rest of the kings and priests, all right? And that's going to come with a rod of iron, you know, because the, 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 the nations are going to have to have these laws, such commandments beaten into them. All right. So, yeah, and repentance of sin is it's only for the children of Israel. All right. When you go into the prophets, OK, the pro and the prophets are the, when they are talking about repentance. OK, they're speaking to the children of Israel, man. They're speaking to the Israelites. I must prove it. It's one of my favorites, too. In Ezekiel's. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> chapter 14, I'm going to get right to the point in verse 6. It says, therefore, saying to the house of Israel. So Ezekiel is addressing the house of Israel. Okay, thus say that the Lord, Yahweh power, repent, right? And turn yourselves from your idols, right? You got to turn yourself from your idols. And turning back to the Lord requires you to drop your idols, man. Drop that stupid ass Jesus Christ idol. Drop that stupid ass uh, Buddha idol. So I mentioned Buddha because Tina Turner, who recently died, you know, she she uh, uh she practiced Buddhism, man. Okay? Drop that Allah bullshit. Stop worshiping that Kaaba stone. Stop being a Muslim. Drop them idols, man. It says, and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. That's what the Lord wants you to do, man. Repent. Stop calling on God and Jesus Christ. And start calling on Yahweh. The true name of the Heavenly Father in the Palo Hebrew tongue. Start calling on Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Stop talking about some Most High and Christ bless. See, the IUIC, the leadership of that a wayward camp, that uh, 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 house of Ichabod. Okay? They, they, need to, they need to repent, man. They need to, they need to start calling on Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai through the Rukakwadah, the Holy Spirit. All right. Yeah. Repent, man. So this is for the house of Israel. Not everybody. OK. Um, staying in Ezekiel. OK. Uh, this time in the 18th chapter and the 30th verse. All right. It says, uh, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. OK. And we know judgment begins with 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 with. Uh, starts at the house of of, of uh, the Lord. Hold on. I don't want to butcher that scripture. Let's see. Judgment. I'm going to look this up real quick. Begins. Yeah. This is uh, 1 Peter's chapter 4 and verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. All right, with Israel, man. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not it's so like that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua, right? They're going to, well, they, that's a, a, it's easy answer. They're going to be destroyed. Okay, so it says, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord, Yahweh power. Repent, okay, and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Right. Do it so iniquity won't ruin you, man. Okay, do it so you won't be ruined over here in Babylon the Great and you won't feel that fire, man. Yeah, you so you won't feel that fire, which is going to uh, come in the form of ICBMs and the chariots, firing lasers on this place. All right, and basically, you know, a, a simple definition of repentance, right? It's to feel sorry, man, to be self-reproachful, okay, or to, you know, to be contrite for your past conduct, and it, you know, and to change your mind, man, to change your heart, okay, turn back to the Lord, man, you know, and again. 
it's yeah, it happens, you know, initially when you come into the faith, you know, but it's also a daily thing. We got to daily do this, man. And, 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 you know, sincere brethren, again, beginning with the pillars of the church on down, you know, the, the apostles, the bishops, elders on down, they, they're in that mind state. Hold on. That's the mind state of the psalmist. Let's get, uh, let's go to the Psalms. Was not David repentant in constant state of, he was in a constant state of repentance, man. Let's see, this is a song of, or a song of David. All right, Malak Dawada, King David. This is Psalm chapter 38 and verse 18. Well, nah, let me, let me start in 17. It says, For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. And he had godly sorrow, not, not, not worldly sorrow. He was full of godly sorrow, man. There's a difference. Godly sorrow worketh repentance, man. Okay, it says, For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. See? So he, he King David was a repentant person, man. And the, the Bible says he is a man after the most high's own heart. You know? All right, this is uh, the book of Joel. Um, let's see, what is that? Uh, hold on. Hey, Joel. I don't have it up on the screen. Give me just a second. Joel chapter 2. And again, who's Joel Who's Joel uh, uh, speaking to in this chapter? He's speaking to the children of Israel, man. Okay? This is Joel chapter 2 and verse 13. It says, and rend your heart, all right, your mind. Um, well, let me start up. Let me start up. In verse 12. All right, Joel chapter 2 and verse 12. Therefore also now save the Lord Yahweh. Turn ye even unto me with all your heart. Right? You got to turn to the Lord, man. It says, and and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. And rend your heart, okay? And not and not your garments. And turn unto the Lord Yahweh your power. For he is gracious and merciful. We can all speak to his grace and mercy, man. We, we, we get it every day, man. We get his grace and mercy every day. Because all of us should be dead right now, period. It says, slow to anger and of great kindness and repenteth him of the evil. Right? So this is what the Lord wants you to do, man. He wants you to repent. What shall we do, men and brethren? <laughs> Acts the second chapter. Repentance is only for the Israelites, man. That's a perfect segue. You know, what, what do you need to do? Oh, what, you know, you have a, you know, someone coming and asking you questions out on the highways. What, what are we supposed to do? You're supposed to repent, man. Okay? Repentance is only for the Israelites. That's Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 5. It's all through the book of Acts. Okay? Hold on. Let's get Acts chapter 2. Let's get, get right to the point, man. Again, Peter's addressing those Jews that were coming in, all right, from every nation under the heaven for the high holy day. Okay? He's not talking to everyone. You got to understand who's being addressed. Okay? He was talking to the Primarily the southern kingdom, right? Judah, Levi, and Benjamin, okay? Acts chapter 2 and verse 38, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name okay, of Yahweh Shammashiach, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's right, man. Repent. And I won't, I won't um, pull it up on the screen. Shalakia. Let me turn off... Uh, Notifications real quick. Bear with me. I'm not gonna pull it up on the screen, but let's let's read up in Acts 2. Okay. And prove this is only for Israelites. Repentance, man. Peter wasn't preaching repentance to the nations. Okay. <laughs> Acts chapter 2. And verse 21. And it shall come to pass. He's quoting Joel's the second chapter here. And it shall come to pass, right, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right. And again, that's a direct quote from Joel's second chapter, which I was just in that chapter. Okay. 
Verse 22, and here's the point. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Okay? So there's a whole address that Peter is given on the day of Pentecost is for the Israelites, man, beginning with the men first. It starts with the men of the nation. It starts with the men. And it trickles on down to the, uh, well, first and foremost, it starts with the prophets. Then it starts with the believing men. Then it starts with the women. And then, you know, then it goes like to the women and to the children. That's the order. That's how Yahushua set it up. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Okay, I'll just, you know, stop it right there. Just to show you, okay, that repentance is only for the Israelites. All right. Matter of fact, that's, <laughs> I don't have it on the screen, but um, Acts the fifth chapter. Right, Acts chapter 5 and verse 30. Uh, the, the, the power Yahweh of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, right? of our fathers, meaning he's talking to Israelites, man. Okay, it says, Whom he slew and hanged on a tree. He's talking to them wicked, you know, unbelieving, you know, scribes and Pharisees. Okay, um, it says, the, the power of Yahweh of our fathers raised up Yahushua, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel, okay, not the nations, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So who can repent? Israel. Who can be forgiven of their sins? Israel. Period. I mean, it's it don't get no clearer than that, man. Whenever you see repent and repentance all right in in, in, in the new testament because i'm in the new testament right now okay it's talking about israel all right and if you see gentile or or a, a greek or grecian linked with repentance and forgiveness and salvation that those are israelite foreigners who are just being called greeks who are just being called grecians who are just being called gentiles it's not, it's not difficult. It's not hard to understand at all. All right. Yeah, just a basic lesson, man. Let's see. This is a good one. Um, yeah, man, this is a real good one. Second Peter chapter three. All right. And verse nine. And who's Peter writing to? The scattered strangers, man, Israelites. Scattered into these various lands, Bithynia, Cappadocia, Asia. Okay. To name a few. That's who's being addressed, man. Not, he's not addressing everyone. Second Peter chapter three and verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. But is long suffering to usward, right? To the elect, first and foremost, and ultimately to the whole nation of Israel. Because all Israel is eventually going to be saved. That's Romans the eleventh chapter. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here's a good example of, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, don't, it don't say, um, well, let me just read it. This is uh, the book of Luke, chapter 24, all right? And this is going to be verses 46 through 48, all right? Luke, this is how I speaking. So if you have a Bible with red lettering, these words would be in red. That these words actually came out of the Messiah's mouth. Luke, chapter 24, and verse 46, okay? And said unto them, thus it is written, and thus it behooved Hamasiach to suffer, um, oh no, you know what? Salakia. Yeah. <clears throat> Forgive me, I'm in the King James. All right. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start over. Luke chapter 24 and verse 46. And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved the Masiach, all right, the Messiah, to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. Now, 
it says all nations right there. Now that word for nation in that particular scripture, okay, is uh, ethnos. All right. Again, um, when you see repentance and forgiveness and salvation alongside nations or Gentiles or Greeks, okay, or Grecians, those are Israelite foreigners. The word ethnos just means ethnicity. It just means a people group, a tribe, a nation. Okay, it can be referring to Israelite foreigners or it could be talking about the nations. You have to know what is being, <clears throat> who is being addressed. That's really what it all boils down to. And you have to know the meaning of words, man, which, you know, you got camps out here that don't go into the Greek. They don't go into the Hebrew, so they don't, they don't get the full understanding of what's being said, man. They actually mock, you know, those of us who study, you know, and don't the Bible say to study to show yourself approved unto the most high. Yao Bashim Yao Shai. All right, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah, you got to go into the Greek and the Hebrew, man. Okay? So, yeah, um, in another scripture, was it Matthew? The same thing is being said. Let me get it. I'm going to get it in the... You know what? I'm just going to pull it up right here. The same thing is being said. It's the same account. It's just Matthew's. <clears throat> um, it's just Matthew's account. All right. The Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. All right. So this is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 28, and verse 18. And Yahusha came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Yeah, showing you that Yahusha is underneath his heavenly father he's the second in command his heavenly father gave him this authority man okay that's to you christians who think that yahweh shai is or would y'all say that's to you christians who say jesus is the most high no he's not he's the son of the most high he's the second in command he's the first spirit created they're two separate entities that goes into a completely different lesson but anyway Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. And Yahweh came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, okay, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. Now, nations in this, it is ethnos. See? So this is referring to Israelites, or, okay? Israelite foreigners. Again, it's a very ethnos is a very generic term, okay? You can look it up. I'm not gonna, you know, pull it up on the screen. Greek word 1484 ethnos just means a nation, a group of people of the same nature or genus, okay? You know, he, he's he's not telling his men to go into the nations and preach repentance and forgiveness. To Esau or to or to uh, <laughs> to Moab, nah, man. This is only for the, the Israelites. Repentance, you know, forgiveness of sins. That's only for Israel. So, um, you know, I think the point's been made. You know, hey, Lord willing, you was that if I hey, you need to repent, you know, because all hell's fixing to break loose. We we going into very troubled water, man. Very troubled water, and uh, you're gonna need a a, a strong tower to run into all right when we do and that's the name of the lord man pursuant to proverbs 18 chapter 18 and verse 10 all right with that i want to end the video lord willing again i don't want to write this out you was edified with that i want to say shalom on to the next video